Hello and welcome back. In the last video, what we did was we, we, we created this Excel spreadsheet uh, that we're going to be using to be able to connect to a database. We created the interface and everything. So if you're not up to date for, with this, go ahead and watch the previous video and then come back to this one. So on this one, we're going to be looking at access. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to open up a blank access database. Now, you don't necessarily have to be familiar 100% with access, but you do have to understand some basic concepts here. Number one, this is a database management system that manages databases. So there's two sort of things happening here. Uh, number two, um, whenever you have a view here open, it means your table or your database is open. So whenever you need to change something here, like rename, you have to close this first before you change anything on the file. That's another thing. And third, we always should save our work immediately before we do anything. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Save. And when I go to Save, the first thing that happens is it's asking me to save this empty table. Because I didn't create the table. As soon as I opened up uh, Access, it already had that table there. Now, I can easily create my table. Even though this table doesn't have everything I want on it, I'm going to... Uh, keep this table anyway, and I'm gonna call this users. So I'm killing two birds with one stone by hitting save right away. Number one, I'm creating a table. Number two, I'm saving my 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 database immediately. So this will be called users. I'm gonna click OK, and as you can see over here, the table is already already set to be called users. So now we have a saved database. And if yours happened to save in an area like you didn't get to save yours where you wanted to save it, for instance, like this is in the documents, when actually I wanted it inside of this folder here, um, you can go and find the file and move it. Or what you can do is go here to File, Save As. I'm going to save this as a database. And uh, I can go here, Save As. Yes and it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. Here's where I can change the name. I'm just gonna change this from database one one to uh, user users database and I'm gonna hit save there. I can enable that content. So now I have this users database. Now in order to use this in my Excel, I need to be able to add some attributes to this user database. So I'm gonna click on this user database twice. I'm gonna double click it. It's gonna open here. And then I'm going to go here to the view, and I'm going to click on the little arrow, and I'm go, going to go here to design view. Now, there's a few things I want to change to make this database uh, cohesive with the standards and cohesive with what I'm going to be using in DBA. Number one, I need to go ahead and give this, uh, give it a few field names. So here, I'm going to change this instead of ID. I'm going to call this user ID. I'm going to leave that as auto number, and I'm going to leave this as, this is called a primary key. I'm going to leave that there. Then I'm going to call this F name. That's for first name. No, it's not a curse word. It just means first name. And we're not actually going to do too much to this. This is the definition that we need. That's all we need to worry about. We're not going to write anything else. We just want to see this work, so that way you can push forward from there. So uh, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go over here back to this view and when I click on this it's going to ask me to save and I'm going to hit yes I want that to save and I'm going to go ahead and add one name here I'm going to add my name here there we go and I'm going to hit enter now I at least have one user uh, uh, let me go ahead and create one more user because you know I, I need to have an audience here so I'm going to at least say that I have another user here all right, so I at least have two users. So when I'm reading it, I can see the two users. If I need to add more, that's fine. Now that I've created my database, that's as simple as we need to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and save that, and I'm going to close this database here. Now when you look at my folder here, in my folder, you'll see I have this database here. I mean this database here called users.accdb. Then I have this Excel sheet that we worked on in a previous video. And you can see the little, the little script thing connected to the Excel. That means we have enabled it to be able to use scripts um, and VBA. All right, so now we go back here to the Excel. So I'm going to double click on this Excel. And I'm going to open that up. And you remember this from before. 
All right, so now that we have our database and we have our interface here and, and Excel, um, we could go ahead now and add our code. Now, again, this video is not to teach you all about VBA. Uh, so what I did was I typed out all the code for you and I'm going to show you exactly how to add it. Now, if you look at the description in this video below, there'll be two links. One of them will give you access to this entire project. Um, so you can go ahead and download it and mess around with it and all that sort of stuff. But the other one is a link to just the code and that's the one I'm going to be using in here. So the first thing I want to do in order to use that with this new setup is I'm going to go here and click on this Visual Basic button. And when that happens, I'm going to get this interface here that pops up. So I'm going to need to create myself a module in order for me to connect the code to these buttons. So what I need to do here is right click anywhere on this this well right click on this um, folder here right click on there go to insert and go here to module once you have that module we need to name this module module one is not a good name so I'm gonna name this uh, database some first start off capital uh, C O N N for database connection um, actually I can name this database manager like that perfect now this is where I'm going to add the code so click on that link and then what you will get is this view here and it should say Excel to access VBA I'm going to select anywhere here and I'm going to hit control A to select everything then I'm going to hit control C to copy it once I do that I'm going to go here inside of my database connection tutorial thing my, inside my database manager module and I'm gonna paste it in there and now I have everything I need in here to be able to work properly if you look um, down here you'll see a few things that's a, uh, in, uh, very important for you number one this name users remember that's the name of my database so if you named your database anything different for instance here, when I saved my database, I named it users.accdb. That's why this name is here. So if you want to be able to use this with another database, you would have to change this name everywhere it is inside the code. Now, I could have done this in a way to where this only existed one place in the code. But because this is for educational purposes, this is in multiple areas of the code so if you wanted to change it you can go through and going through the code actually helps you out that's the first thing the second thing is the name of the shape so if you go here you see this says LST name in sheet one so LST name is remember the name of this uh, shape that we have here over here it's called LST names over here I have to have that same name within those quotes LST names and that's on sheet one and I can see here no matter what I name this sheet down here it always has a place so for instance let's say if I were to go down here and I'm gonna rename this sheet I'm name this uh, level one when I go back to my VBA you'll see while it does say sheet one is level one it still has the proclamation of sheet one here so this is why I can access it directly by just saying sheet one shapes and then LST names and remember whether it's capital or not I believe it does matter so make sure your case is properly set here and then you would just make sure you go through here and everywhere that that exists let's say like um, here no 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 not there like here on the clear panel you're gonna wanna make sure that that's there now the final thing is the fact that we're pulling it from the cell now yours may be different you may be pulling yours from a cell over here or in another sheet but because we're pulling it from this cell I'm gonna select this cell and you see over here it says E10 that's for the right so E10 for the right and when you look over here I'm going to go to this insert database and down here you'll see where I have E10 now wherever you want to pull your data from that's where you're gonna put this this um, 
the E10 or whatever whatever cell you're using. That's where that would go. And for the delete, I'm going to select that cell, and you see it says E14. So for the delete, when I go down here, you'll see I have here, inside of quotes, E14. So those are the major changes you would have to make. Once you've made those changes, or if you've been following through exactly like mine, you don't have to worry about those changes, but just so you can know how this is working. Once you've made those changes, we want to now connect these buttons to that script. Now, I don't really need this anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I don't have to save it because it automatically saves. So I'm going to take the right, and I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to go down here to Assign Macro. And then I'll see all of those functions that I had up in that macro. This one's going to be Access Database, so I'm going to select that and click OK. And then I am going to go here to the right button, and I'm going to right-click on that and assign macro, and I'm going to click on insert. Insert is right, so click OK. And the delete, I'm going to right-click on this, assign macro, and delete from database. And then the clear, I'm just clearing the list, uh, so I'm going to right-click on that, and assign macro, and clear panel click OK on that. Once you've assigned a macro to all these things, every time you click it, it's going to run. So let's say if I wanted to, I click on this. Look, it's pulling from that database that we created. That's pretty cool. If I wanted to write something, I can write a blank because whatever's in here is going to write to the database. So if I click write and then I click read again, there's actually a blank there. So let's go ahead and write a name here. Um, let's write um, another name here. And then I'm going to click on write. Now, in order for me to see it, I'm going to have to go read. And you can see that blank is there, plus this. Now, the only thing I might want to change about this, it, it shouldn't just say read. It should also say refresh. So and if I want to change this, instead of just clicking it, I'm going to right-click on it first. And now I can click it and then change whatever I want to change in there. And a few things I want to change. First, um, I want this to be read slash refresh and then I don't want it so big so I don't have to be inside of here to change the size of it I'm just gonna right click on it once I'm gonna go here to the home tab and I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit till so I can see everything that's in there so now this is read slash refresh the database so every time I want to refresh it I can click on that every time I want to write it I click on that and then refresh you can see here and now the delete so I'm going to click on the name that I want to delete. Let's say I want to delete the space. Right now, there's nothing in there, so that's what it's going to delete. I'm going to click on that once, and then I'm going to refresh it, and you notice that space is gone. Let's say if I wanted to remove Sue, I'm going to just put Sue inside of here. You can type it in there, and I'm going to click Delete. Now, all the Sues will be gone when I refresh, and there it goes. And now I can also clear my list, and you can see it cleared there. So that's about it. You have all the information you need. You have all the files that you need. And basically all we did was we connected Excel using a simple database that we created in Access. Um, on another video, what I can do is I can go over more detail as to how I came up, you know, how, how this is written and how it's connecting and stuff like that. But really, sometimes you just want things to be done. You want a simple understanding about things. So we're not going to go into that much detail right now because this is really not about coding. It's about the connection between the two applications and how we can use that in our own application. So we've made this from scratch, basically. And all we did was added the code and then made it work. If you guys have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Um, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.